I lived in Robert Taylor um, Housing Authority for maybe 20 some years. The buildings were going down. Um, we fought, we went to Springfield um, as with Beauty Turner and a couple of more advocates for Robert Taylor. Um, we also um, did peace marches down State Street to try to save the buildings, but unfortunately we couldn't. Um, the first place I moved to was a three bedroom, one and a half bath house in Inglewood. There, I would say six months into my lease for a year. Um, it started being an issue with rats, rodents. Um, I had a rat problem. We called Smithereens. Um, and he came out. When the man came out, he had this glue board that was so huge that I didn't know what he was going to do with it. But in terms when he put it behind my basement door and he closed himself in there. And for about 30 seconds, he's fighting with this rat. Now, he finally get this rat that's stuck on this big, huge glue board. And this rat looks like a cat. Um, I'm talking about a huge cat that's been eating everything from the sun to the moon. The thing about it is I would have liked for CHA and Section 8 to have um, get thorough background checks on these people that they allow to rent to their unit, to their tenants. We have to go through so much red tape, yellow tape, any kind of tape to get a unit. And if we don't fit or meet the criteria of these landlords and what they want us to have and you know everything they want us to have like credit being good and all that, we're, we're setting ourselves up for failure. We can't have a better way of living if we're in the city. They want us in the suburbs. They want us real far up north. They really want us real far south suburbs. They don't want us to be in the city. So they make it really hard for us to acquire a unit in the city.